I thought I'd have to do a really quick little video just to uh, correct the mistakes I've made on the video I showed on Tuesday because thankfully Philippa got in touch with me very quickly before I started doing the rest of this uh, laden couch work to point out that I've misread the, uh, the instructions. So I've, I've misread what was on the, uh, on the um, stitch chart. So on any laden couch work, the laid part, which is what we're doing here, should be single thread. Um, Philippa always says with crew work, it's very forgiving. And whatever you do, you know, when you make a mistake, you can stitch over. But this is one of the times when I can't stitch over. I'm going to have to unpick this. So if you bear with me, I shall unpick this and start again. But we're still tight as a drum on here. Hi, so what I've done now is everything's unpicked from the hoop um, and I put a knot in one end of my single thread and I'm using a gold needle um, because this is going to be single thread and we're just going to cast on now and uh, start doing this laden couch work properly. Right, so I'm just going to pull the thread through. Now, I think I've made this too long, so I'm going to, what I'm going to do is pull that through a little bit and chop some of this off because even though you, Philippa was saying you can have the thread longer for the laid part because it's very very long stitches um, I think I might have got in a knot if I'd have carried on like that so I'm going to come back up here and do some seeding stitches oh it looks so much easier when other people do this <laughs> when you're doing it yourself right and I'll just put another little stitching there like that and I'm going to go up and down now so this is single thread laid part so I'll go from one end to the other like that then come up there so you're not using too much thread you're just going from there to there pulling it up this is all what I remember what Philip was saying. So, as you can see, very quickly, starting to get these um, laid down, these laid stitches laid down. Um, and what I might do, which might help all of us, is take a look at what Philip was doing in the summer when she started first started doing these, um, these Christmas stockings for the grandchildren and see how she progresses and shows us how to do this properly and then maybe then I won't make so many mistakes on the next bit. Well we've moved into Richard's shed and I put the, uh, the clamps on the uh, table with the, um, with the frame round and I popped in the knot which I made on the end of the thread then three little straight stitches and they're just seeding stitches to hold the thread in place. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up and down the diagonal lines here that we made with the, the, the uh, pencil. So I'm coming up and going down. So across that diagonal and not too tight. They don't need to be tight. Just a fairly relaxed stitch. And up on the other end. Doesn't matter which direction you start first. And then up on this one. And this is actually rather fun. And you really do need to have marked out your linen because judging this by eye is pretty tricky. Well, as you can see from here, I've gone one way and now I'm starting to do the crossover from the other to cross over with the final part, the layered part, the laid and couch work. Um, so what I'm going to do is keep doing this, just going backwards and forwards. One thing, oh, one thing I did notice was something that um, Philip had reminded Katie of quite a few times, which was to... Um, make sure that the return on the here wasn't too long because otherwise this bit of wool here gets 
stressed out going up and, be, up and down between the, the linens so much. So um, what I'm doing is trying to make sure I don't have that too long. And I keep just gently going up and down with this lovely long stitch. And it is a surprising how quickly this gets filled up, which is amazing. I can see why Philippa was saying sort of like in the historic pieces she looks at, she thinks it's when they get to the part where they're rushing to finish a, a piece off, they, they do a bit of laden couch work because it's the quickest way of filling a large piece of uh, area, large area on the design. So yeah, I shall carry on doing this and then we'll come back and do the couch work. So I hope I haven't led you down a blind alley with Tuesday's video. I'm really grateful actually that the, these lovely printed linens are not coming out until this Friday. So you didn't have the linen to follow every day with me and make the same mistake. So maybe it's a good idea, just let me go a couple of videos ahead so you can see the errors you can make and you will have to make them when you buy these lovely linens. So thanks ever so much. And when we come back um, next video, we'll be doing the couch work on the laden couch work. So see you then. Thank you very much.